All right, folks, welcome to suburban New York. What a, what a place it is. All right, so uh, today we have a simple goal. I'm just gonna try and walk to the park. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not, I'm not much of an outdoor person, if you couldn't tell. I'm not very comfortable with uh, exposing myself in public, so maybe it's the low self-esteem thing. So right now I'm just uh, trying to get less of a road in the shot. I don't want to blur license plates, but uh, yeah. So we're gonna see how this goes. So I brought this like uh, towel thing that you're supposed to dampen and it'll keep your neck cold, but I kind of forgot to dampen it. So, you know, first mistake already made, I guess. I mean, I think I've said it before, I'm not a big fan of filming in public. I'm also not a fan of filming on roadways because I have to talk louder and that kind of goes into my whole uh, I don't feel comfortable filming in public thing. It, I feel like a nuisance. I also don't talk about this a lot, but I actually do like the outdoors. Uh, I do actually like the outdoors. I like the nature aspect of it, but I just don't like, uh, I don't know, I just don't feel like I like getting in the way of other people. I feel like a nuisance most of the time. And when I am in nature, I don't like it to be this kind of like fake nature. I like it to be like full, full-fledged, like in the woods or camping or something. Although I can't really handle temperature well. If I'm somewhere cool, then that's good enough for me. But yeah, I'm, uh, I'm pretty sensitive to heat, so the outdoors isn't usually for me. And I mean, in addition, I'm also, uh, I don't know what it is, but I don't think it's just having blue eyes, but uh, I can't handle like the sun. Like, no matter how dim it is, like, just the minor, the tiniest fraction of sunlight, if it meets my eyes, they just stop working. Yeah, I really don't, uh, really don't feel comfortable IRL vlogging. I mean, I'm doing it for a video, so it has to be done, but, yeah, being in public is not for me. I'm actually pretty uncomfortable with just leaving my house, so... Uh, going on a walk like this is... Uh, you know, a bit more... Uh, than I'd expect for my first time out in a while, especially alone. I just, uh... I don't feel very comfortable being outside and alone. I mean, the good news is... I'm not necessarily going alone. Because, uh... My brother said he'd meet me at the park I'm going to. So... Yeah, it makes me feel a little more confident in myself. There are a lot of perks to being in the, like, in New York that I like. Like, for example, the weather's great uh, most of the time, you know, 50%. I really prefer the winter, but you also get, like, the trees turning different colors in the fall, which is fantastic. And, you know, honestly, this summer, the weather is pretty good. But, uh... I have no excuse for really not knowing how to drive. I mean, I kind of, I guess I do, but I just really don't like driving. Uh, when I was uh, 18, I think, maybe 19, I had a seizure. And when you have a seizure, uh, no matter what the cause, whether it's like, uh, you know, uh, mentally related or not, you can, uh, you still can't drive for six months, just in case, but, uh, yeah, uh, I wasn't even driving then. I got my license at like 21 just because I hated the idea of it so much. And, uh, you know, when I got my license, uh, I still didn't like driving, so I just never drove again. It doesn't lend well to a suburban atmosphere, though, I will say that. I actually uh, mentioned this when I got in the car here, but I guess hindsight's 2020. I don't know if you can tell, but I wore slides out here. That wasn't really a good idea for one of my first times outside in a while. Actually, not in a while. I had a dentist appointment a couple days ago, so yeah. You know, 
now that went pretty well, no cavities, which is honestly impressive considering how much soda I drink. There they are. They're pretty nice. And they don't smell like anything though. I really do like nature though. It's really pretty. I mean, so we made it. It's pretty good, I guess. I mean, it's a Saturday, I guess it's really busy, but still caught me off guard, kinda. I'm impressed. Well, uh, yeah, I, uh, I guess I'm proud of myself for walking here alone, but I, I didn't really plan anything to do, so. There's people playing volleyball nearby, so I'll probably just watch them. And I mean, you know, I wouldn't go outside without a drink ready. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't think it's the most hydrating thing, but still do. So I'm gonna be honest, uh, now that I think about it, I think I told my brother to meet me on the wrong side of the park, but uh, we'll see if he figures it out. I mean, it really is a nice day out. I mean, it's really nice out, and the sky's, you know, really pretty. So are the trees, but I, I'm still really nervous just being outside. It's not very comfortable. It's something I need to get over, but I don't know. My fear of the outdoors has kind of grown over the years. So, uh, you know, this is the first step. I'd say it's more than my first step should have been, but, you know, it's something. I guess I'm happy I did it. It's nice to get out every once in a while, but, uh, yeah. Good. All right, this is my first uh, so it turns out there was a farmer market at the uh, park, and they had homemade root beer. So, uh, I mean, I'm gonna try the classic here. I, I'm very aware of how this tastes already. All right, looks like it got a little shook up from the walk. Yep, okay, well, we'll try that second. Uh, let's try the homemade stuff first then. It smelled really, really bitter, so I'm kind of scared, so. Uh, No, no sir. What? Not for me. That smells like it's made of actual ingredients. Now let's try the good stuff. <laughs> yeah, that hits the spot. <laughs> no. Oh. Wait. Here you go. I mean, that does, it does taste like there's actual ingredients in it. Yeah, I know. It's not what you come to expect. That's what I'm saying. I'm used to my mugs and they give me this like actual, it tastes a lot like earthier, rootier or something. All right, trip over and we snagged a nice rum cake out of it. Very nice. 